Welcome into a Sunday sermon. This is the uh, end of March. I decided I won't be more specific than saying the month and this, well, well, it's the end of March. Is it the end of March? Yeah, end of March, I think. <laughs> 2022. Just open some juice. What is this juice? Let me. I shook it up already. I shook it up before. Think of it like, you know, Sunday sermons like, like, like wine, like sacrament, whatever have you. This one is uh, not for concentrate. Pomegranate seven, super fruit seven. Uh, it's pomegranate, grape, strawberry, tart cherry, fig, mulberry, and cranberry. I don't know why I got this. I don't really particularly like strawberry, but I got it, so it's there, so it exists. So I guess I gotta gotta drink it. Okay, so as you may, man, I know every Sunday sermon. We pick up scripture, and our scripture we get from the uh, tome by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. This happens to be the uh, 2016 edition, the, the uh, revised, expanded edition of the United Independent Compensatory Code System Concept book. It's a uh, it's a compensatory kind of racist code. It's a code system. That's what we want to get to, and. Um, it says by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. and it's uh it's really it's really a workbook. It's a it's a it's a workbook textbook thought uh, for thought speech and or action for victims of racism, which is white supremacy. Now, if you don't consider yourself a victim of racism, white supremacy, then well, the book's not for you, and I guess this readings are not for you. Or you can get the book from uh, producejustice.com. Producejustice.com. In fact, I would I, I would admonish people. Oh. Brother said a big word. I, I would say that if you get into some sort of, like you'll have Twitter wars and stuff like that, you know, instead of answering the people, get all hot and bothered. Just But look, go to producejustice.com and then they can get a book. And the reason they should get the book is from this uh, saying that Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. did in 1971. Same year I really started writing poetry. That's interesting. It says, if you do not understand white supremacy, and it's got the brackets, which is which is uh, which is racism, which is racism. What it is that is what is what, what that is white supremacy, racism. What it is, and how it works. Everything else that you understand will only confuse you. Now, on these Sunday sermons, since I only go once a week with the uh, out of here, no, I'm actually. During the week, if you want to catch on the same YouTube channel, then every morning I read from the uh, the New Testament of the of the Gullah Bible. Well, that's that's interesting. That's a whole other thing. Don't worry about that part. Um, so anyway, uh, so uh, I, I I'm going to read from uh, page two fifty five, and it's the sixth area of um, people activity. It's uh, called politics or. or when he say when he says politics, Mr. He being Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., he means uh people uh, relations, you know, and um, and like I said, this is the uh, did I say sixth yeah, this is sixth the sixth sixth sixth, sixth area of activity of human activity, and uh, and it, it's 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 preceded by um, of course five other areas. The first being, um, as far as the book goes, in order, also, also alphabetical order. Economics is area one. Um, education is area two. Entertainment, three. Labor, four. Law, five. Six, politics and people relations, which we're up on right now. Um, area seven is religion. Area eight of human activity is sex. Very powerful. And area nine is war, counter war. Uh, for these readings, uh, just as uh, for the time being, I guess, just as uh, Mr. Neely Fuller does in his weekly um, podcast or internet uh, internet presence, um, I will n I won't be dealing with the war counter war chapter. Okay, that's an individual thing, but there's plenty of us other stuff in here. Okay, so again, we're going to uh, uh, the sixth area of people activity, which is politics or po or, uh, or people relations. And this is page 255. And this number two, right in the middle of the page. Second. Yeah. Now it'll be it for the end of the page. So it's this 
right here. We're going from here, there, down to the end of the page. That would be it. And it's called Stop Name Calling. Now, this is interesting to me. Like I said, I, I find a topic during the week and then, not a topic, I find something that I'm interested in and then if something is happening during the week, then I go like, oh, this will apply to this topic. Then I try to look up a topic if I remember it or whatever. That's why we want this. Now, but we'll get to what, 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 what happened this week that spurred me to pick up this particular uh, scripture from page 55 of the uh, Mr. Daily Fuller Union's the United Independent Compensatory um, Code System Concept um, Code Book. Stop name callers, number two. In this section, this section is called 10 Basic Stops That Victims of Racism Should Practice in Thought, Speech, and or Action. The only problem with this, of course, is that as soon as you tell a human being to stop doing something, that's the first thing they want to do, but that's neither here nor there. Ah, here we go. Stop name calling. To, na to name call is to call a person by any name other than the name, title, etc., that the person chooses to be called and or chooses to call herself or herself. So you give yourself, you know, whatever, you know, you know what I'm talking about. That's self-explanatory, right? Name calling is a simple but major act that produces serious conflict between one person and another. That's important. You know how... Well, no, no, that's not really that's important because you know how we that's what they do these days, like, um, especially in politics. If they were, if they, if they say they're, they're guilty of being the, the devil, I'm just saying that because it's Sunday, um, then the first thing that devil will do is accuse you, you're the devil. Well, they got it out first, so people that resonates with people, and then the real devil, well, you know how they do that. Okay, so anytime somebody calls them, you're you're this, or you're that, or you're doing this, you're doing that, check it out first, check it out. We'll check it out first. Uh, For a series of another. Um, among non-white people, name calling oftentimes leads to very leads very quickly to fighting and killing. The result of name calling is never worth the grief that such practice promotes. I need my. Oh, man. I should make marks in this book here. I'll have to go back to that. Um, I'm gonna make some highlights. I need my my. I need. I don't want to run over over. I need my uh my you know highlighter. Okay. Uh, where I go to the, to death or among my researchers and for most good people, uh, leads to okay. Funny killing. Okay, the result of name calling is never worth the grief and such uh, such practice promotes. To avoid name calling a person, it is better to describe what it is that a person does or says instead of calling a person a liar. Right? Repeat what it, what it was that the person said and say that what was said was not true. That um, then uh, then explain why, always explain why. That's not true. Of um, <laughs> South African muscular, my guy. He says, um, he said a person's telling a story. <laughs> I like that better than lying. You know, no, he's telling a story. He's a big storyteller. Instead of calling a person a racist, describe what that person says or does. Uh, that is characteristic of a racist. Right? Say that it is the type of a thing that a racist says or does. Do not, however, call the person a racist. You know, yeah, you call people out for their acts, not you know, not for what they say, but for what they ask. You can you can call somebody a racist, but unless they're being a racist, well, what is that anyway? Racist connotes power, and only white people can be racist. I don't want to get into all that, but when they try to describe the user as racism, it's really discrimination, but we won't get into that right now. Um, it, all, it is also important to know and understand what not to do 
when a person calls you a name. There's the rub. You know, we get emotional. Call me a name. Devil. I'm not I'm not the devil. Get all crazy, you know. Do not say anything. Do not fight. Do not kill. I would even say, no, I'm gonna say don't do anything and leave as soon as possible. <laughs> if you choose to speak, limit to what you say to asking questions in order to better understand why you are being name called. Do not argue. Do not make statements. Now, this is one aspect of name calling Mr. Neely Phillips Jr. brings up. Uh, um, it's a rather broad thing, and that's, that's fine, that's fine. But there's another thing that's been happening this week that I've been noticing. And um, I didn't even use my glasses. That's good. I'm so used to using it with the Bible. But it's, 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 there's a comedic, you know, there's a comedic thing where, you know, you play, well, you play the dozens when you're a kid anyway, you know, you call your net name call, but you know, you, you, you rank on each other, you know, you play the dozens, you know what I mean. Cutting contests without, without the knives, you know, <laughs> cut, a, cut a person down with the words, right? And of course, the, the biggest purveys of this are, are the um, uh, are comedians, you know? So, okay. But now the problem right now is everybody wants to be a comedian. Everybody thinks they can sit behind their thing and make, crack little funny things, or they, you know, they think they could be, be a comedian. So you got a lot of people, a, a beef would start by just misunderstanding, I guess, you know? So what am I asking? Or what am I saying? I'm saying, so when I see certain things, like I listen to certain people, right? And because there's so much stuff, I have to filter out just a little slither that they, of why I'm listening to. Like, for instance, on uh, uh, 5150, I love 5150, Corey Holcomb. Oh, man, I think the boy's a genius, okay? Just absolute genius. By the way, Corey, what you should try to do, get yourself a, a puppet. You can be a ventriloquist, man. You don't even have to be a real ventriloquist. Just have a puppet so you can say some other stuff, you know what I'm saying? Okay, this is no advice. Now, I don't, no commission for me. I don't do anything for money anyway, so just go, go ahead. Uh, you know, so he'd be calling all <laughs> calling people out of names like, oh, my favorite, Michi X. <laughs> he'd be calling people out, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, instead of, so I listen to the substance of what they're saying, not rather their names. But and then you have people like, um, not like, uh, uh, well, I, I like Professor Black Truth more than I like, you know, the, 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 oh, it doesn't matter. But, but anyway, so Black Truth, there, uh, there'll be, uh, 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 um, well, especially the Black Authority, it would be labeling people, right? Just like Tariq, be labeling people. And it's, to me, it's hilarious, you know? But I can't take, I can't take it seriously because there's, when I say I can't take it serious, I'm saying I take it seriously, but I don't. And I, was, I don't spend a lot of my time uh, indulging with them. I get the I get a little bit of everything, and I I keep on moving. Now something like irony, I spend more time with, or um, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Of course, I spend more time with I like that, and and Max Kaiser, I spend more time with. Anybody else is like entertainment. It's like a Jimmy Dore entertainment to me. You know what I mean? Because a lot of the things that people are saying, what they're actually doing, they're not giving me any new information, or they're not giving me any analysis. That makes worth. I mean, if I want an analysis, I go to uh, I go to Dr. Jerry Horn if I want analysis. You see, I mean, I'm not going to uh, uh, go to you know these pundits on on TV or these people that's all all the time on. You know, they don't have time to really absorb something. Um, Jordan Charrington, I think he's he's an exception. You know, he's a, a reporter that's on the ground all the time. You know, Aaron Maté, those people like that. You know, I'm not moving on. Those people like that get on the ground. You know. Um, um, so anyway, so my, my point is, if you don't, think about what happened if you don't name call. That's poor. They don't call somebody this or that or whatever it is. You know, I, 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 I know cool, bootlick, you know, mammies, whatever. Yeah, I understand all that. And it's it's fun. But I fear it's going to take, let me, let me back up. Let me back up. It's necessary. It's not my cup of tea because um, it, 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 we're at war. We're in a war. And, 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 and like Mr. Neely Phillips Jr. would say, our uniform is our skin color. So you can't get it. You can't take a uniform off and all of a sudden retire, you know, after work. <laughs> I'm no longer in that war. No, we we're always in war. So in war, you have all kinds of, let's call them special units. So for me, like, like you know, somebody like Michi is a special unit dealing with some special things, you know, 
uh, Professor Black Troop is a special unit dealing from special things. Unfortunately, if they start talking, beating up on each other, <laughs> or or other, or just others like um, I I I, I like narratives, you know, you know, Dr. Greg Carr, but you can tell there's an agenda there, you know, because you know he's boys with with Roland Martin and and uh, and, and and they're always shilling, you know, they say they don't show for the for the Democrat Party, but they did they show for the Democrat Party. The whole objective is to do that thing. I'm not saying they're wrong. You see, that's, that's fine. That's what they do. But they can't say they're not shilling for the Democrat Party when they are shilling for the Democrat Party. Because if you deliver the, 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 the lambs to the to slaughter of the Democrat Party, then that's what you're doing. Now, uh, now you say, well, well, shouldn't we have an agenda? Well, yeah, we should have some agendas, but you then you have to have the right people right doing the agendas. In this day and age, the person's got to look a certain way. They got to have a, have, a, have a certain baritone in their voice, you know. They have uh, all kinds of things. But they keep on trotting out these people that are terribly flawed. Let me put that. I mean, from weight problems to uh, to uh, uh, sexual pro proclivities that people are not going to take to to just behavior that 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 the, the populace. You can tell the culture. The, the culture will tolerate the populace, but then they rather the 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 populace or the culture will will tolerate what you're doing, but they may not necessarily want to put you as the face of what they are. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So what, what's it all come to? I'm saying that I really wish people would just follow the code. I said, don't name call. You can describe what the person is doing. But, you know, okay. I, I can, well, I'm sorry. Uh, let me go back. Let me re, let me talk out the other side of my, my neck, you know, as, as it were, Mr. Fuller Jr. Mr. Neil Fuller Jr. said what he said. That's one of the things, right? But, and all these other people saying what they're saying. I'm saying this, right? Everybody, just the, my main thing is that we'll, and as I uh, talk, talk about that to Greg Carr when, when he says that Sonia Sanchez has a saying, but do it free us. Whatever it is, this argument, this name name calling, this whatever it is, do it free us. That's the overriding thing. Because if you are a soldier, say, if, this, if me doing this action, is this going to free, you know, my comrades in arms? This is going to, and, 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 and by extension, our, our our populace, our culture, from whatever. That's the whole thing. So I don't. I'm not. I'm not too into the don'ts as much as like the do's, right? So it's like do not. I don't want you to do not. I just want you to do. You don't have to even put in the not that whatever the not is in your um, how do you say in, in your in your consciousness because that's going to be the chain. You know that's going to be what you chain yourself to is that is that is that particular not, and then you'll be a not. Just being a little cute, me being a little cute, me being T from the Patterson taking the train to Tibet, let you know what I only suspect. For this Sunday sermon, producejustice.com.